What's up Trofanta, welcome to my newest video about the Spring Sale in the PlayStation Store. Like in the previous sales there are plenty of easy Platinums. But in this video I just want to show you a handful of easy Platinums which are worth playing. So we're jumping right into it and the first game on my list is Little Nightmares 2. The game is cross buy and 50% off so you get the PS5 and the PS4 version. The game is one of the best suspense adventure games. With a walkthrough it's possible to get the Platinum within 3 hours. But I highly recommend playing through the game at least once without any walkthroughs or guides. And if you miss a collectible or a level specific trophy, you can use chapter select. So nothing is really missable. The next game was already free for PS Plus members a few months ago, Control. A really awesome adventure game and if you struggle on any level you can enable assist mode in the options under gameplay menu. In assist mode you can choose between plenty of helpful things. Aim assist, energy recovery, damage reduction, ammo recovery and a lot more. But of course I highly recommend playing through the game at least once without assist mode. Even without the assist mode the game is not really hard at all. Next game on my list is Sean Yuan 7. The game reminds me a lot of Onimusha. There are 3 difficulties and it's possible to play the entire game on easy. You can craft items, you can upgrade your weapons and many more. The game is semi open world so there is always a clear path to follow. Basically there is only one trophy missable. The trophy is called seen it all, you have to complete the journal log. To complete the log it's very important that you rest on each campfire. You can always revisit locations, but on a certain point in the game it's not possible to trigger a specific cutscene anymore, which is necessary for the journal log trophy. But no worries, it's almost impossible to miss the campfires. Next game is Werewolf The Apocalypse Earthblood. If you PS Plus member you can get the game for $15. It's an action adventure game where you can transfer your character into a werewolf. It's possible to play the entire game on easy difficulty but be careful there are missable trophies, there is no chapter select or something. So if you miss a collectible or a specific trophy you have to start from the beginning of the game. There are two different endings and each ending rewards you with a trophy. But if you want the platinum in a single playthrough, just use the advantage of a backup save using the PlayStation Cloud. The next game that I really enjoyed is Moons of Madness. It's a first person story trim cosmic horror game. There are two missable trophies. If you need a platinum walkthrough you can find one on my channel which allows you to get the platinum in less than 3 hours. If you like twin stick shooter games check out Trigger Witch. Only $9 if you are PS Plus member. No trophies are missable and the entire game can be played on easy difficulty. And another good reason to buy this game is you can play the entire game couch co-op. You want another reason? Ok the game has 58 trophies. That's not enough you want another reason? Ok the game is cross by between PS5 and PS4. Believe me the game is a lot of fun especially in couch co-op. If you already played Little Nightmares 2 and you like it, check out A Tale of Paper. There are collectibles and level specific trophies but at the end nothing is missable because there is a chapter select. It's really a nice little indie title with an easy platinum. If you like puzzle platformer you should give Macrotis a try. It's less than $4 for PS Plus members. The game has everything you need, good puzzles, a good story, good graphics. If you're stuck on a puzzle you can check out my platinum walkthrough on my channel. Next one is East Asia Soft Indie Shoot'em Up Bundle. These are basically 3 games and for less than $3 you can get 3 easy platinums. Probably a must buy for shoot'em up fans. Each game takes about 30 minutes and if you don't care about graphic, give it a try. As a Resident Evil fan I can recommend Dawn of Fear. The game is a bit tricky but received a lot of updates and it's now a bit smoother to play. It really plays like the old school Resident Evil games. And if you need a platinum walkthrough you can find one on my channel. And the last game on my list which is almost a hidden gem is Lost Words. It's a nice little indie adventure game and nothing is really missable because after completing the story you unlock chapter select. There are plenty of collectibles and some level specific trophies. But it's absolutely no problem to get everything in your first run without the guide. So guys this was my list for some easy platinums which are worth playing. If you have any suggestions let me know it in the comment section below. Thanks for the attention, see you in my next one.